Hi, my name is Bree. I'm from Lincoln East. And this is my poem, Repent. Recently, you contacted my mother asking to speak to me. You claim to plead forgiveness. You say you want it, need it. But we both know that's not true. What you really want is another name crossed off your step nine. You lust for the ability to tell people you're a changed man. You crave attention just like you crave destruction. But haven't we done this before? Will enough never be enough? Your serpent tongue folds lies into truth. Your eyes so kind and trusting to hide a monster behind them. How dare you ask for forgiveness when you don't even remember why you're asking. The begging late into the night, the blood hiding the bruises on her face. Finally, you've left us alone, but not really. Whenever someone raises their voice at me, you're there, haunting my subconscious. I know you ask people where I am and what I'm doing. Your narcissism has left you blind to how you hurt others. You wish to repent for your sins, but I will not give that to you. Because when I'm with a male family member and they move too quickly, I flinch away. I'm afraid of being alone with them as long as your outline lives in their shadows. Still, I feel ashamed of my body and the marks your words left on it. Doctors say my neurons aren't communicating. Perhaps they're afraid too. They don't want to remember you chasing after me, trying to pry away my small shroud of protection, even if you were so far gone the next day you didn't recall. My mouth wishes to forget cries for help that fell on deaf ears, a mother so defeated she couldn't even look me in the eye. I'd rather have been blind than watch how you smiled at police officers, convincing them nothing was wrong, acting so perfect that to this day you haven't seen a cell wall. You'll never be punished for killing my childhood. So go cry to your God for forgiveness, but may you never have it. I'll stand now for a mother who couldn't. I'll be the one to mourn that lost girl you hoped nobody would know about. And I'll tell you how I hope the stars shine brighter than ever the night they close your casket. Because you wish to repent, believing trumpets will sound and golden gates will open upon your arrival to a heaven you don't deserve. Monsters don't go to heaven. Liberated, I don't have to lie or smile and pretend to be happy so you don't go off. I've swept away the eggshells I walked on so carefully. And if you ever try to hurt another child again, just know. You may have killed the girl I was, but the one I am today isn't afraid of monsters.